we're going to drive off in the vehicle and we're going to see how far this range works. everybody and welcome back to the channel I hope you're all doing well my name of course is Stu and welcome to another vlog well recently I show you the Saramonic wireless microphone system and I thought it'd be a great idea to try it out and see if it works in the car and also do a range test so I thought what better idea than to take it out and try it out in the 2016 Ford Mustang GT so let's get the keys and let's get going Right, that's it, we've set everything up on the vehicle. I've got a camera on the front and another session camera on the back. Now, you're currently watching me on the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition and we're just using the audio from the camera. I'm not using any microphones. And as you can hear, it is a job to hear me. Now, if we start this vehicle up, as we're going along I have to speak a lot louder now I'm hoping you can hear me okay but because I've been used to wearing the lapel microphone you might have a job to hear me I'm probably not speaking loud enough so this is where I want to try out the new microphone I want to see if it will work so as you can see I'm now wearing the wireless microphone system you can see the lapel microphone just there uh, you can see the system here it's connected to the GoPro Hero 4 so this is no longer the audio from the GoPro Hero 4 it's this microphone right here you can see the lights on the receiver and you can see down here I've got the transmitter right next to me and you can see the lights on on that. You should be able to hear that if I put that down a bit more. So yeah, the engine is running and with the windows done up it's quite quiet in here. I don't know how much noise from outside this microphone is going to pick up. Um, but yeah, so let's uh, try it out and go for a drive. Sorry I haven't got too many shots from inside the car this time, that's because I've only got three cameras. I've got one on the front, one on the back, and the one you're watching me from right over there on the passenger side door. We're currently heading over to a industrial estate where I do a lot of my filming for my videos. And uh, there's normally no one about. Sometimes there are people working there um, on the industrial estate, but that's where we're heading over right now. So let's see if we can, we're on a real steep incline. Let's leave it in a high gear and see what it sounds like when I put my foot down. Here here we go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm never going to get tired of that. I'm never going to get tired of it. I think I want that supercharger now. Right, that's it, I've got you out of the car now. So as you can see, I'm having to hold the uh, pack with the camera. So you're watching me on the GoPro Hero 4. Let's show you in a mirror so you can see what I'm having to hold. So that's the GoPro Hero 4, black edition. And hopefully you can see the camera and I'm having to hold the microphone pack like that in one hand. So it is a lot more awkward, but hopefully you should be able to hear me all right. Uh, it's a little bit breezy, it's a little bit windy, and normally you'd get this blowy noise coming off the microphone on the GoPro Hero 4. Um, but as you can see, the vehicle, I'll put some shots of that vehicle um, with the DSLR on the screen right now and you'll be able to compare what it looks like with this, the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, a GoPro camera, and you'll be able to see what it looks like uh, with a DSLR and you'll see the shape of the vehicle is really good but 
I distort it with this camera, it's that fisheye lens, and it's such a shame. Uh, it's because it's got this wide angle, super wide view in it, and the fisheye, unfortunately, it does really spoil it. It, it really is a shame. Um, but yeah, I am listening to all of your comments, and I am also going to change the camera soon. So uh, I'm not going to tell you which camera it is. I do have a good camera in mind, and it is a very popular camera. So I've not done a range test with this camera yet, so we're going to put you right back there against the fence. It looks pretty secure. There's no one about, there's no alleyways. Uh, we're only just going to drive off down the road no one can get down here and we'll be coming straight back so hopefully it will be all right now you won't hear the exhaust i'm going to reverse up to this camera but you won't hear the exhaust from that you might hear it from my microphone inside but hopefully that will work now all i'm doing is i'm just putting this uh, and dangling it down next to it i haven't secured it in any way so hopefully it will be all right but you can see how far away the car is and i haven't done a range test it's supposed to work over quite a distance i think what we'll do is we'll drive down the road there i'll reverse back we'll drive down the road and then i'll go right down the other road and come back and we'll see whether it does actually work from right down there I'll let you know where I am and we'll talk and I'll see if we can hear it but yeah let's give it a go Right, that's it. Now we're ready to go. Uh, you shouldn't be able to hear anything on that uh, camera from outside the vehicle. You should just be able to hear my voice. And uh, off we go. Let's go. Let's open the window. You can hear the engine now. Down, down the bottom there and that's where I do a lot of my filming as well so we're just going to go down there now hopefully you shouldn't be able to see me anymore and hopefully you can hear me now this road isn't too far as you can see from the other camera we're right nearly down the end now but hopefully you can hear me all right and uh, it has got quite a range on it now if the sound has cut out I'm sorry but you'll hear me on this camera now so we're just going to turn around here and then we're going to go up the road a little bit and then we'll come back Hi, we're back. Hopefully you can hear me absolutely fine. So that's it, that's the end of the test. I hope that worked all right. Now, uh, don't think I've parked like that because I just cannot park properly. I've parked like that for a reason. I now want to take some photos for my Instagram. So if you haven't visited my Instagram yet, it's on the screen right now. It's also in a uh, link in the description below, and that is uh, Sports Car Fun. I had to think then, I forgot what my own Instagram was, and that's Sports Car Fun. As you can see, I'm taking a lot of pictures for my Instagram at the moment, so this is really handy. I can talk to you on the wireless microphone while you're set up over there, and I can take my photos. So I can multitask with this wireless system. It is really good. I'm just going to capture some video um, handheld, no stabilisation, with the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, and I like to do that um, because I can get some good shots sometimes from that. So I'm just going to walk around the vehicle slowly and I'm just going to take some shots with that and I can also capture images off of that. Now I know they're going to have the fisheye effect, the fisheye look, but it gives me um, some good photos sometimes, some good images. I can capture them from it. So that's it, I have a lot to do today, so what we're going to do is we're going to wrap up this vlog. It's half three uh, in the afternoon now and uh, it is starting to get cold. I'm getting a bit cold out here and I've got the pictures I want to get. Um, in case you're wondering, uh, I haven't been putting up on the screen lately just how much fuel I've used in the Mustang. So before Christmas, for, uh, a few weeks before and over Christmas and even now, I've used another, get ready for it, are you ready for this? I've put in this vehicle right here another £155. Pounds. 
So yeah, it does use quite a lot of fuel, but some people have assured me that actually that isn't that much um, money compared to what some uh, some people put in some of the big four befores. But fuel is going up fast here in the UK. I can't remember what it is at the moment, but it's somewhere around 118 or maybe one pound 21 a litre. Uh, so yeah, it's going up fast and it's still uh, set to shoot up as well. Once again, thank you very much for all the support that you've given me and for um, all the comments and for watching my videos. So if you like this video, remember please hit that like button down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Now I hope you like the changes that I've recently made to, uh, to the channel, the new banner, the intro, the outro, and if there's anything that you regularly want to see added um, to the videos, if there's a section like a Q&A section, let me know and I'll include that in there. If there's anything else you want me to regularly add, I'll do a section uh, just for that. So please let me know and what type of videos you'd like to, uh, me to record in the future. But until next time, thank you very much for watching and remember, smile, be happy, you are all awesome and you know that. And I'll see you all in the very next vlog. Until then, goodbye.